Hey everybody, this is Bill with strongmanarchives.com and thanks for joining me for the first episode of the world's strongest quiz show. It's uh, the quiz show where strongman athletes, uh, and in this case, their wives, will be answering trivia questions about their own careers. Uh, our guests today are the legendary Uncle Laws and Auntie Liz. Uh, you probably <laughs> know them from their YouTube channel, Big Laws Official. Uh, if you don't, there'll be a link in the description. So go check out all the great content. Uh, they have interviews, uh, predictions, recaps, Kiriakos, Grizzly, uh, reaction videos, and everything <laughs> else you might possibly want. Uh, Laz and Liz, thank you for being here with me. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, we're good. Thank you for having us. This yeah. is this is quite. We're, we're, I can feel the competitive juices flowing now between us. I, I can feel the nerves going as well. <laughs> I said, I wish I'd revised. <laughs> are you uh, more nervous for this or for Royal Albert Hall in two weeks? Probably this. Definitely this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I, I think that's good to hear. <laughs> uh, so here's how this is going to work. Um, I'll alternate between the two of you, uh, asking 10 questions relating to Laza's career in Strongman. And okay. uh, if you need it, you'll have up to 30 seconds to talk your way through as you come up with your answer. We'll uh, tally up your scores at the end and declare a victor. Uh, oh. Will you have anything riding on the outcome here? <laughs> Oh, no, not another bloody forfeit, no, <laughs> no, because when there just... is something riding on it, I lose. <laughs> no, no, this is just a friendly. We're just having a bit of fun, are we? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're... just bragging rights then. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, perfect. Okay, we're going to start with Laws here. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. So your first World's Strongest Man was in West Virginia in 2008. Can you name the three men who finished ahead of you in that heat? Uh, Marius Pujanowski. Correct. Brian Shaw. Correct. And Harold Haugen. Very good. One point for Lars. I could have done that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start off easy, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Liz, now for you. Who did Lars defeat to make the 2017 World's Strongest Man final in the dreaded Last Man Standing Stones? Mikhail Shivlikov. Also correct. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a good start here, you guys. Yeah. All right, Laz, in which country was your first Giants Live competition? I believe it was the Ukraine. Uh, it looks like it was Poland. According to... <laughs> well, it was Poland. <laughs> <laughs> You know that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you know what? I remember now. Oh, yeah. it's all coming back now. <laughs> How did it go? Not so good. I got injured. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, we'll have some I, injury I, I questions. Remember, I remember Ukraine fondly because I did well at that one. Ah, so <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I tried to block out the ones that didn't go so well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're still tied at one. Uh, Liz, did Laz win more titles at Britain's Strongest Man or UK's Strongest Man? Britain's Strongest Man. Uh, correct. And do you know how many of each? He won two Britons, one UK's. That is correct. Very well done. I thought that was quite an easy question. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly said three Britons. I nearly got it wrong. <laughs> Okay, Laz, you competed in one Arnold Strongman Classic, which was in 2012. In which event was your best finish? Uh, the frame carry. Correct. Do you remember the one athlete who beat you? I believe it was Mike Jenkins. Absolutely correct. Well done. Yeah, Another Mike point. Awesome. <laughs> okay, Liz. When Laz won Europe's Strongest Man, who made up the rest of the podium? It was Hathor Bjornsson and, oh God, what's his name? Um, Janne. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Swedish. <laughs> Johannes Aho. Correct. Very oh, good. <laughs> Pull that one out. Girlfriend's name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three for three, Liz. You're, you're on a roll here. I am. <laughs> All right, Laz. In which competition did you finish ahead of Big Z for the first time? Ooh. Now, I, I, I've beaten him a couple of times, but a few of them aren't on the Strongman archives. Ooh. But I'm thinking if it's on the archives, it will be the um, 
Ultimate Strongman World Championships. Correct. Very good. But I have beaten him a few times in the Faroe Islands, which you guys don't have the results to. I do. Like to put their complaints. <laughs> That's a, that's extra credit for for knowing how much we would have. <laughs> Did I get an extra point? No, this means he's been revising too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, you. So you won that contest, and you were an uh, an impressive eighteen and a half points ahead of Big Z on that one. Yeah, he wasn't in his best shape that competition. To be fair, I remember speaking to him afterwards, saying it was disappointing. It was. Dis <laughs> <laughs> it was like. I looked up to this this great legend, and it was just like he was someone else that day. And now I so, thrashed you. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, you know. No, it, I remember it, the it, conversation. It wasn't Zadrunas at yeah, his best. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. it's not prime. I, I don't, I don't really see it as a victory over him. Uh, all right, Liz, what percentage of Laz's WSM trips resulted in a finals appearance? I'll give it to you within five percent, or if you just know the exact number of finals and number of appearances. I know it's five out of 11. That is correct. 45%. Oh, I, I say maths is not very forte. So. <laughs> I'm not going to make you do uh, division by I 11 here <laughs> on the fly. All right. Uh, so, Laz, we've got, we've got a flattery question here for you next. All right. <laughs> Our okay. records show you as the number one yoke athlete of all time in terms of... Um, percentage of times you competed in the yoke and won the event a staggering 76 percent of the yoke events you competed you won in a distant second was uh stoyan Todor Todorchev of oh, bulgaria uh the two of you faced off in a yoke once in the 2010 viking power challenge in norway and you beat him however somebody beat both of you do you remember who that was wasn't Brian Shaw by any chance. It was, oh. in fact, very good. Very good. There we go. That was a deep cut. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 2010, that's going back some. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yep. Brian also won that contest, in fact. He did, yes. Yeah, it was a good contest, actually, run by Sven. Oh, yes, yes. Um, all right, Liz, how many World's Strongest Man final events of his five finals did Laws win in his career? <laughs> How many final events did you win? I want to say zero. That is correct. <laughs> she's, I, she's good. <laughs> I, I thought, did he win the frame carry in 2011? But you didn't, did you? I think Mike Jenkins won it. Exactly correct. Yeah, the second think, place in that event, once again. I was going to say, just, I think second is your best. I've come yeah. second quite yeah. a few events, but never, yeah, yeah. never won an event in the final. Cool. Yeah, zero. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Sim similarly to the uh, the Arnold's, just a fraction of a second behind Mike Jenkins in both cases. <laughs> yes, I think it's very good. All right. Uh, Laz, when did you most recently win the Atlas Stones in a contest? Um, the North American Giants Live. 2018? Absolutely correct. Very good. And you won that <laughs> show. I'm going to help you. Yeah, I, I beat Trey Mitchell. Oh, very good. <laughs> you, yeah, you beat everybody in that show. That was that was a victory for you. That one. Yeah, not bad for someone that's rubbish at the stones. Oh, yeah. Come a long way. <laughs> All right, Liz. Was Laz ever in the same World's Strongest Man heat as Mark Felix? No. Yes! He was in 2004! <laughs> 2014. <laughs> oh, no. You're gonna take her first answer. <laughs> 2014 Much. LA. He beat him on the deadlift, didn't you, dear? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I'm not sure how to score that one. You have, do not have these rules laid out. I think I should be given a chance. <laughs> it was a knee jerk reaction. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll give you half credit, considering the. Uh, okay. The instant, the instant correction with the correct year and yeah. the fact I, that... I can tell you yes. exactly how it went down, but yeah. I, was... <laughs> I couldn't remember that I, I was... I forgot that it ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we are on to question seven for Laws. So uh, we just talked about the Giants Live contest that you won in 2018. You also won a Giants Live event in 2012 in Finland. Which Estonian finished on the podium with you? Larry Nami. Very good. Yes, that is correct. 
All right. You guys are just crushing it here. <laughs> okay, Liz, sure. we got a little callback to your injury video that you guys did on your YouTube channel here. Okay. In what year did Laws suffer the torn lat at the World Deadlift Championships? Right, hold on. So if the tricep was 2015, the lat was 2014. That is also correct. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of know our lives by your injuries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Laz, what was the biggest deadlift that you ever pulled in a uh, max, event, max deadlift event at World's Strongest Man? Worlds. It, I think. Oh, I don't know. It's one of two things. It's either... 430 or 415 and I think it was 415 kilos that is correct again that was in the 2011 finals yes all right uh Liz what was Laza's first ever event in the first time he made the world's strongest man finals first ever event the first time he made the finals so was this the first event in the final correct the yes the first event in the final in the final so it was 2009 and the first event i want to say it was a yoke it was fingles fingers Damn it! who puts fingles fingers first <laughs> <laughs> ah. i i can tell you something about that that it wasn't even fingles fingers they showed it as fingles fingers but the first event we actually did was the farmer's walk. Ah. But they aired it the other way around. Bastards. Well, <laughs> I got it wrong so. anyway. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm, I'm glad that didn't affect the outcome of, the, of our Yeah, our, otherwise, our question. I'd be getting another half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Laz, when you made your first World Strongest Man final in that year, 2009, which three events did you win in your heat? Ooh, um, the car walk. Mm -hmm. the truck pull correct and i car walk truck pull squat correct very good <laughs> <laughs> all right liz um so laws competed directly against only one of the following athletes which one was it sven carlson vasil verestchuk magnus samuelson or yanni virtanen this doesn't include World's Strongest Mans where they were in different heats and therefore not competing head to head. It was Magnus Samuelsson. That is correct. Do you happen to remember where it was? The Swedish Power Grand Prix. Excellent. Wow, that's... Eight? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's a long one. Yeah, long ago. You came 10th. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. And I think he won. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some extra credit, maybe? <laughs> I need to call something back. <laughs> All right. Uh, last question for Laz. Your career's only overlapped by a year or two. Uh, so we show that you defeated Marius Pujanowski head-to-head -head in just one event. What event was that? The squat. Correct. And do you remember where? Uh, that was West Virginia in the heats of my first World Strongest Man contest. That is absolutely correct. Seven reps to four was the count. All right. <laughs> so we got a nine out of ten for Laws right there. I'm happy with that. That yeah. Polish one should have had that, but... Oh, well. And Liz, okay. your last question. Okay. In um, World Strongest Man qualifying heats, since we just mentioned him uh, winning the squat there, Laz got the squat seven times during um, heats at World's Strongest Man, and he won six times. So of the 35 men he went up against in those squat events, can you name either of the two who ever finished ahead of him out of 35? I of the two that finished ahead of him out of 35. Okay, so I know the year where you accidentally did an extra rep, um, uh, the, the Lalas brother, placed ahead of you <laughs> and um, possibly Thor as well. That is, both of those are completely correct. Yes. Half Thor and Marius Lalas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a very light squat. You, know, you accidentally saying. did an extra rep. <laughs> 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 it's your own fault to be fair. <laughs>
All right. So that was eight and a half correct for Liz. Ah! And considering how quickly you corrected yourself, I'm going to go with my tiebreaker question here. For yes. You guys. All right. <laughs> Just to settle this. Okay. okay. Is it fastest uh, finger first? Okay. So this is going, maybe if you want to write an answer down, because it's going to be whoever's closest to the number. If you, uh, unless one of you wants to answer first and then let the no, other no, one. No, it's okay. Make, I'll okay. get paper. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> this is going to be a question about uh, someone against whom Laws competed head to head many, many times throughout his career. Okay. Uh, so between Britain's Strongest Man, Europe's Strongest Man, Worlds, Giants Alive, Strongman Champions League, the Arnolds, and World's Ultimate Strongman, you competed head to head with Terry Hollins 23 times. How many times did you finish ahead of Terry out of 23 in the standings? Let me know when you're ready, and then we can uh, reveal answers. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a guess, though. <laughs> Need to play the uh, the final Jeopardy music. <laughs> Going here. All right, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, time for the reveal. All right, I've said 18, and Lars has said 16. 16. The correct answer is 15 wins and eight yeah. losses. Lods wins our tiebreaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well I done to both of you, though. Better head to head against him. You do well. I said you. Yours was like way yeah, better. You, 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 you went too far. Terry, Terry's <laughs> not going to be my friend. <laughs> You're the eighteen. No, that's, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Sixteen. Well, congratulations. You, you know, you were the, you were the better <laughs> out of this on the quiz. <laughs> I knew more about myself. You won, yeah, I guess you won fair and square. <laughs> you both did an outstanding job, though. Well done, both of you, and thank you so much for joining me here. Thanks uh, for doing it. It was good fun. Bill. It was fun. <laughs> Absolutely, and uh, yeah, and good luck at uh, Royal Albert in a couple of weeks. We'll be all rooting thank for you, you on our uh, virtual spreadsheets. <laughs> I'm hoping they might uh, be able to stream it live, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> if Thank not, you. I can feed you information. <laughs> Cheers, Bill. Thank you very All much. Right. Thank you so much.